Welcome back. Let's continue working on the multi-page control. So let's now work on this page to here. So this is how the multi-page control works. You can just right click on on this uh, portion of the control and then you can just add page here. So in our case we have added a page to already. Then we can just rename it the caption to I would like to display all the the electrical components so I will call that one electrical components okay so let's check the drawing what are those electrical components so I would like to display the lighting fixtures the receptacles the switch and the wire connector so this is the lighting fixture if we list this uh, object here it's called lighting fixture and if we list this uh, control here it's called receptacle and also this one here is called a, a switch and also let's display the, the wire connectors the switch it's called a it's called a an arc it's an arc and under the layer lighting okay so how are we going to do that first let's design the form uh, in order to to draw or I mean to design the form faster we don't need to create every single text, text box or label control what I can do is just copy over this control here I have actually put all of these controls into a single frame so let's let's copy that one and then control V here paste it here then all we need to do is rename the the labels so let's uh, rename this first label to number of lighting fixture this one would be number of receptacle and this is let's call that a switch the last one is let's just call that wire connector okay and the last one we don't need this let's call this as txt lighting another one is a txt receptacle third one is uh, txt switch last one is txt wire okay I would like to change the background of this to somewhere around this just to have a distinct uh, design be compared to the fixtures and doors this one we can provide a back color for something somewhere around here oops I think I've chosen a different color so this is all the same color and the four color I would like to change it to this dark so that the text will stand out You can do your own color thing okay so now let's do the coding let's start with the lighting I just put here a comment get the values of each uh, electrical components so the the TXT lighting the text should be equal to uh, get lighting 
with lighting uh, this fixtures okay we haven't created this function yet but we can create right away let's just leave it here so it's called function get lighting fixtures as integer okay now what we can do is just uh, create the the selection set the uh, dim is its lighting as a card selection set dim uh, uh, fill we can copy over the all of this code here actually and just change this one to lighting fixture and just change the lighting substitute the existing French with all these selection set lighting and lighting fixture with this let's call this a lighting okay so let's uh, check this code for the lighting fixture I think it's it looks good next we can do the receptacle txt receptacle that text equals let's call this uh, get receptacle okay so we can copy this uh, function lighting fixture with and rename the function here with get receptacle and then just uh, just change the name here and then uh, okay we made a mistake here it should be SS lighting not the French okay so that's the thing if you are copying the code make sure to check properly because otherwise you might still be referencing the old one so SS receptacle copy this and it should be all receptacle here change the name to receptacle for the selection set and then the block name instead of lighting fixture the block name is receptacle yep so I think we're good with the first two functions now let's create the function for the switch let me just copy this function here and it's called the txt switch and let's call this as get switch and then copy this one so we can just create a new function function get switch as integer and then we can just copy this code as well and change the variable names so this will be called ss switch and then copy that and replace all of these declarations here and the block name would be switch copy that and change this selection set name here and then return the switch selection set count and then this is the function so it should be the get switch function here all right good next the last one that would be the wire connector so let me just copy this line and we call that as a wire that yeah correct so get wire let me copy this over so we can create the function function get wire okay let's uh, copy this code and 
get wire should be here. Change the variable names from SS lighting to SS wire. Copy the selection set. Change the selection set here. And this, okay, so this is a special case. The wire is not a block. It is an arc. It is an arc under layer lighting. So in this case, we need to specify uh, two arrays. So let's declare the array as one so that we have zero and one, which we have the zero as the, the object type, which is arc, and eight, which is the layer. So the first one we have to put here zero and it is an arc object. Copy this. And the, the second element of the array filter type would be eight. That is the group code for the layer eight. And the layer is lighting. Okay, so This is called selection set wire. Looks uh, good to me. So let's see the. All right, I think it looks good. Let's give it a try. Save it and run. Okay, generate audit report. Oh, I think we missed something. It's the clear values, but anyway, let's just uh, do that later on. Let's see this one first. So, which means that if I click this button here, all of this will be populated as an existing functionality, and as well as these uh, text boxes here, which just we we added. Okay. Oops, there's a breakpoint there. Let me just get rid of the breakpoint by clicking on it. Okay, let's see the electrical components. There you go. That's it. Okay, so let's clear the values now. This one has been clear, but the electrical components were not cleared because we haven't done the clearing for all these text boxes yet. Okay, let's do that next. Okay, so clear. The electrical components. So what we have TXT lighting. Just press control space so that the IDE will complete the syntax for you. The text equals empty string. TXT receptacle the text equals empty string. TXT switch the text equals empty string. TXT wire, the text equals empty. Okay. So let's save this and run the code again. Nice. All right. So let's clear the values now. There you go. So that's how the multi page control works. So you can add as many tab as you want it here. You can delete the page or you can add a new page. Maybe you can call this, uh, I don't know, a structural components like the walls and the you know, columns or whatever. So that's it for the multi-page control. Try it out, explore think of something that you can add and work on it and see how it goes.